Welcome back inside the Hard Rock here in Hollywood, Florida, as we take a look at the tail of the tape to get things started here in World Series of Fighting Apes. Luis Palomino, 33 years of age. George Patino, 40 years old. These guys have been around. You see, same height, close in weight, and a two-inch reach advantage for Patino, who has won 35 times. Palomino's won 21. Ten-point must system. Three judges score the fight. It's based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. Let's go now to ring announcer Jazz Socorro for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Fighting Eight. We make our return to South Florida. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two championship fights tonight. It is awesome. We'd like to welcome our viewers viewing live at NBCSN. This event is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission and under the watchful eye of Assistant Executive Director, Mr. Frank Gentile. Our first fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Lightweight Division. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue corner, this fighter's record, 35 victories, 14 losses, and two draws, 11 by knockout, and 14 by submission. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds even, fighting out of Sugar Land, Texas. Introducing Jorge Macaco Patino. Well, he needs to strike with movement right after we throw his combination. Since his opponent has power in his hands, he's got to move out of the way. Can play it safe if he wants. Strike, set up a takedown. Once on the ground, he can do both. Ground and pound or go for submissions. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This, uh, this fighter's record, 21 victories, 9 defeats. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighed in at 155.6 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting Luis Babu. the keys to victory for Palomino. Well, same deal here. He's got to strike with movement. Avoid that takedown. Keep the fight on the feet. When it goes to the ground, get Macaco in his guard ASAP. Your referee is Mr. Troy Waugh. Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight! It's on lightweight, scheduled for three rounds. Patino with the blue tape around his glove. These guys are similar in stature, similar in career, similar in records. You figure they didn't have to really study each other's tape too much, boss. They know all about it. They know all about him, yeah. Patino has been uh, fighting for a long time, has some legendary fights with uh, Pele back in Brazil. Anything goes, I mean, anything goes, for real. Bare knuckle, crazy stuff. He's been around for a long time. Palomino is the more crisper striker, I would say. He's uh, probably a little bit more technical, but then again, Patino's got a lot of power in his strikes. Palomino, his first fight here in the WSOF, a Peruvian who has made his home for several years here in the Miami, Florida area. And Patino has been around so long, the Houston, Texas native. He says he's basically Americanized the name from Jorge. He answers to George more than he does Jorge, he's telling us. That's the way you do it. Whoa, big combination here for Palomino. Palomino has 11 knockouts, but Tino has 11 knockouts in their career. But the submission game is great for Patino. Yep. If he can get it to the ground just like that, he has 14 wins by way of submission. Yeah, this uh, not so good for Palomino. He has some losses by submission, three losses by way of submission. But, as I said, in the case of victory, you've got him in his guard. You and said you get him in the guard quick, didn't you? As soon as he gets down, don't give him any breathing room. That's it, because you're shutting him down, his submission game down. Not only that, his striking game as well, if you keep him close on you. You know, as soon as you see Patino, what he's doing, he stand up the whole time, so the guard, he needs to keep hooking his feet. And that's going to put eventually elected acid in the legs, and that will slow him down back on the feet, or even on the ground. 
Palomino holding on tight. This is very smart. To, this is exactly <laughs> what I said he need to do. You know, you're just going to wait for the stand-up. And, and you wonder how long they'll let him go this way if Patino can't get active, and now Troy Wall moves in to tell him as much. Well, Patino can really get active if he wants. He needs to cross-face his opponent, and that will break the grip. Push himself away, create some distance, and then start Improve striking. Position, gentlemen. But it's Improve very important that he cross-faces him first. Improve your position, Crank that gentlemen. neck to the side. If you do it the correct way, and I'm saying the correct way, he will break the grip, trust me. Patino trying to break loose, Palomino clinging. He's got a good hold in there. Improve your position, gentlemen. I'm going to stand you up. Yep. That said it all right there from referee Waugh. That's it. You know, you got to do something. Otherwise, I'm going to put you back on the feet. But how about Palomino? Just like he said, those keys to victory. He got to that guard quickly. It's about the same time he hit the canvas. Yeah, because he knows the power from uh, Makako. You know, from George. He's got a lot of power there. Look. That's what happens if you let him go. And that's it. Back on the feet. To the delight of the crowd, they want to see some action here. Sir, sir, fight! What does Palomino have to counter right now? He's got to start getting loose, just what he did in the beginning. His punches look really nice and relaxed. You know, he's got to, that was his back kick. He's looking for a back kick there. He's got to start striking straight to the body. You know, come on top of the hook, left straight to the body, there's that back kick. And most of the time it's planted, when the seed is planted in the head, they want to do it, whatever it takes. Palomino, nice, nice shot. Nice counter there, left hook. You know, like I said, his striking is, is crisper. There, and again, that was two good shots. Good combination by Palomino. And see, he's still... Palomino wants to get to the ground. He's not going that way. Palomino's trying to put him on the ground Knock with knockout power. Beautiful body shot from Palomino in between. That means that he's still thinking. A lot of guys in this position, when in this situation, they just keep hitting the hat. And look at Patino. He rebounds, responds, and gets it to the ground again. He should need the body right now. Need the body is very important. He's going for a guillotine, which might work as well. But the body is right open there. A knee to the solar plexus could be the end of the fight. And here in the first round, as it ticks down, we've seen the strength of both fighters. Palomino standing up, Patino on the ground. These two veterans will fight on as round one comes to an end. Careful with the chin in the eye, okay? In round one, Palomino going to work on Patino. And watch there, he's going to go also for that body shot. Bomb, 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 and then throws the left to the body. A hard one here, one, no, and he, boom, there's the shot. Yep. Keeps thinking on the pressure, but so is Palomino because he was able to uh, get a takedown again. Patino was standing that barrage late in the first round. Back to live action, round two, scheduled for three. Patino with the blue tape, Palomino the red tape. Two veteran fighters, contrasting styles. Patino stronger on the ground. Palomino, as we saw with those punches, much better standing up. Bollinger and Nam coming up, and then it's Gaethje and Petitionok for the lightweight title later. Oh. Lift kick to the body. Yep. He's liver hunting. Says the man who made and became a legend with the liver kick, Boss Rudin. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought, right? My first Thai boxing class, I got knocked out to the body. <laughs> I go, okay, I gotta know what this is. Very painful, I know that. 
Patino had that takedown in the first round. But Palomino, as Boss talked about earlier, was able to close the guard and basically negate any of the strength that Patino had. Ooh, connected two times with the big right hand. Palomino did count to the back of the head. Of, uh, well, Palomino is landing all the power punches in this fight. Yeah, and, and he's, he stays calm because he's no, you know, an animal when they get in trouble, that the, when they're the most dangerous, right? That's where they're going to shoot for the stars, and in this case, shoot for the legs. You want to take down. So he's got to really watch out with throwing the combinations that he's going to throw now. Just missed with that left at Palomino. You see, all the time he's aware of that takedown. Could be there. Spin back, he's coming again. I think the Patino camp coming in felt they had to get it to the ground as often as possible. Palomino's camp, meanwhile, figuring that he's probably fought a stronger roster of fighters in his career, even though both have fought some very good fighters. Yeah, they both really did, you know, and especially, like I said, Macaco, you know, and uh, Patino, that is. His nickname is Macaco. Which means in monkey, by the way, in Portuguese. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he, oh, and again, that big left, too. Can you see that Patino was looking to the left, so that means it kind of hit it to the back of the head. And it has way more effect there. Another right, another right, two rights in a row there. But Patino still comes back with a swing. You know, if you ever want to go and see some crazy fights, Macaco versus Pele, go on YouTube, find it out. It's crazy. And uh, after watching those fights, I knew that Patino, he, he can take a punch. He's very, very tough. And he's willing to trade, as we saw there. Palomino, meanwhile, continues to try to control this cage and cut it off and keep Patino moving backward. And there you saw a single kick. And right away, Patino, uh, Palomino countered it. You know? He beats him to the punch every time Palomino beats Patino to the punch. Again, he got glut there. He just blessed with an uh, enormous chin. You know, watch out with those kicks because they're, they don't do anything. That means they're very easy to counter. If you throw a really hard kick, at least they have to block it first before they can counter it. Palomino again, the combination. Spinning back kick. Gets the crowd excited. Patino able to bounce back off that door and get it back out to the center. And there is another knee following up that punch. Patino is hurting. He's in trouble, and Palomino is trying to move in again and finish it. And he's caught an arm there. Oh, no, Patino pulls himself out. He needs to close the distance. He needs to kick him away or put him in the guards. Then again, Palomino knows that. Big Palomino is it. it. It's over. Palomino has knocked out Patino. Whoa. Man, this happened right in front of the commentating booth. Those punches were hard. Luis Palomino taking charge of this fight late in the first round, ending it here in the second. There's the right boss. He followed with the knee, got it to the ground, and then he puts it away. Yeah, and that's what Palomino's going to do now. What Pitbull is singing. We like the party. Look at the strikes. And now look at these ones. Oh. Uh. Palomino letting him know, hey, you know, I want to belt around my waist sometime in this lightweight division. We'll have the lightweight title later. More on Palomino's knockout when we come back. This February, the world will converge in Sochi, Russia, as athletes from across the globe compete for country and Olympic gold. The Sochi Olympic Winter Games begin Thursday, February 6th on NBC. And back inside the Hard Rock here in Hollywood, Florida, a great performance by Luis Palomino, a second round knockout of George Patino. Let's go back to Jazz and get the official time of that KO victory for this man. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over at four minutes and 20 seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout, Luis Baboon Palomino. Yes, MMA Masters, baby. Much love to MMA Masters.
Haley, come. Where's for you, baby? Come on. 33-year-old Palomino winning for the 22nd time, the 12th by way of knockout. It's time for our Boost Mobile highlights, boss. That's it. In the first round, it was Patino. He wanted it on the ground. He got it there, but couldn't put away Palomino, who got in the guard quickly, and then Palomino started taking over. It was like an equal round because Palomino was hurting Patino, even though Patino's had to take down. But round two, he really started getting it, finding his reach. I always talk about this. And he just unloaded on him. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.